It's amazing how much work has already been done and, uh, and coming through of course the council decision uh, was to you know, bring the good shed back to life uh, in some way, shape or form close to how it was and I have to say the work that's already been done, um, you really uh, you need to get a grasp of it because the structural work you won't see when the finished job is there. A stormwater work, sewer work and what have you, it's all underground. But so critically important for the job when it's finally completed. This is a significant project just in stage one, which is, which is really to get a shell in place that can be used for a variety of events. Um, so it will have some, some restrictions because it is stage one, it'll be an open space basically, it'll have you know, toilet facilities and what have you, and, and the opportunity to plug things in and, and power them up for, for different events. And, and who knows what those events might be, and I guess that's the exciting part of this project for me is really really putting the challenge out I guess to people who see this open for the first time for many years and and wonder what they could hold in here. Uh, there's also of course the significance of the rail that actually runs into the shed which will be preserved as well and the stopping station for when the when the when the trains would hit the decks as well so all of those things I think will add to the value of this building and preserve it for the future generations which um, ultimately that's what this project's all about and making good of something that was played such a significant part of our history.